What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out how The Rock versus Stone Cold saved the WWE by uh, WWE fanatic man. Um, this is gonna be one of those videos that's just gonna bring me back down memory lane. Stone Cold, The Rock, their rivalry was wrestling. Without these two guys and the rivalry that they built, WWE definitely wouldn't have been the same wrestling as a whole wouldn't have been the same so i'm looking forward to checking this out man just just for nostalgia purposes just so i can just sit back and remember the good old days when rivalries like this were just a it, there were some good ones but this one was just the pinnacle at that time it was just stone cold and the rock what else is there to say you know, I can't get mad if someone says I choose Stone Cold over The Rock. I can't get mad if someone says I choose The Rock over Stone Cold. They're both goats. They're both legends. Let's check this out. This video should be great. Let's do this damn thing. Is cooking, man. With one beer, two beers, what? Three beers, Ryan what? This is Austin. It's a rivalry that's synonymous with the WWE itself. Of course, and it of came course. at the perfect time. The company was in a bit of a rough patch back then. The mm -hmm. steroid scandal had left a bad taste in fans' mouths. And the rise of WCW had left Vince McMahon scrambling to keep up. But mm -hmm. then, these two larger-than-life wrestlers burst onto the scene and set the whole wrestling world on fire. Their feud defined an era of pro wrestling and is without a doubt the greatest rivalry the business has ever seen. Facts. Now, some could argue that the seeds for this epic rivalry were planted long before these two even crossed paths based on how they each broke into the business and the WWE. Steve Austin was already a seasoned pro by the time he arrived in the WWE, coming mm -hmm. up through the territories and eventually making it big at WCW. But he was creatively stifled and underused, so he took a risk and left the safety of his job to spend mm -hmm. time in ECW before finally getting his chance to shine in the WWE. Meanwhile, The Rock was a failed football player who turned to wrestling to pay his bills. Mm -hmm. He used his father's influence in the business to get a tryout with the WWE and was quickly signed as a hot prospect. The earliest version of The Rock, known as Rocky Maivia, didn't exactly scream megastar in nope, 1996. Nope, nope, no. But The Rock knew he had what it took to be a superstar and was determined to make it happen. Now, by late 97, Steve Austin had managed to escape the clutches of the Million Dollar Corporation and was making waves with his brand new persona, Stone Cold. His mm. breakout moment came after his King of the Ring victory yep. in 96, and the following Austin 316 promo catapulted him to Classic. a whole other level of stardom. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my <laughs> ring. On the other side of the spectrum, Rock had Love taken Stone a different Cold, route to the top. His early attempts to win over fans with his wholesome Rocky Maivia persona fell flat, but he found new life as a member of the villainous Nation of Domination. Yes. Rock and Austin's paths collided when they both set their sights on the Intercontinental Championship. After capturing the strap for a second time from Owen Hart at Survivor Series 97, Austin was ambushed by The Rock and his Nation of Domination crew, leading to the Brahma Bull stealing the title from the Rattlesnake just eight days later. But their paths were destined to cross again. And it all came to a head <laughs> on December 7th at the Generation X In Your House, where Austin emerged victorious, reclaiming his intercontinental title. During this time, Austin's now legendary rivalry with Vince McMahon was just starting to heat up, and Stone Cold knew he had bigger fish to fry than the Intercontinental Championship. So, in a moment that has gone down in wrestling yeah. history, the Rattlesnake threw the belt into the New Hampshire River, forfeiting <laughs> the title and setting his sights on his boss. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, I just want y'all to know how badass that is. I don't give a damn about this. I got bigger fish to fry. He <laughs> just threw shit away into the fucking water. Get this out of here.
I got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> While the great one was climbing the ranks of becoming a force to be reckoned with, he became intercontinental champion for the second time and held onto the belt for over eight months, the longest reign with the title for nearly a decade. All the while, Austin continued his ascent to becoming the biggest star in the industry, facing Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14 to win the WWF Championship. Mm -hmm. For much of 98, Austin would further his feud with Mr. McMahon and the corporation. In September 1998, both The Undertaker and Kane pinned Stone Cold simultaneously in a triple threat match, leaving the title vacant. So, at Survivor Series that year, oh, a tournament was held to crown so a new great. champion. Austin was eliminated from the tournament in the semifinals by Mankind after Shane McMahon refused to count to three. This led to Mankind facing off against The Rock in the finals. McMahon called for the bell as The Great One held his opponent in the sharpshooter, mm -hmm. despite Mankind never tapping out. And just like that, The Rock captured his first ever WWF Championship, while also turning heel in the process yep. and aligning with the corporation. As Vince McMahon's corporate champion, the and Rock this worked so well, bro. When he became the corporate champion, it just it, it he 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 fed into that role. It worked so good, and Stone Cold got screwed. And now you have these these larger than life personalities. They're now firing on all cylinders, but on the opposite side of the spectrum. The guy that's going against the boss, that's going against the the corporate, you know, the corporate regime, and then The Rock just doing what he has to do to stay the champ because this is what Vince wants as the champ. Oh man. It writes itself. Rock became the company's top heel and went on to trade the belt back and forth in a memorable feud with Mankind. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Austin <laughs> was hot on the heels of the corporation and his path was inevitably going to cross with the Rocks. In Bink. 1999, <laughs> Austin aimed to reign the WWF Championship by winning the Royal Rumble, but McMahon had other plans. As the last two men standing, the Rock distracted Austin, allowing mm -hmm. McMahon to eliminate him and steal the victory. Putting the opportunity for a WWF Championship match at WrestleMania on the line, Austin and McMahon faced off in a steel cage match, but interference from a debuting Big Show led to Austin's victory. The Rock and Austin met in the main event of WrestleMania 15 after a hard-hitting bout with mm -hmm. tons of heat and interference. Stone Cold finally dethroned The Rock with a little help from Mankind <laughs> his third WWF championship. The Rock failed to reclaim the title at the following month's Backlash event. This would be the last time the two men would cross paths for nearly two years. Then came the 2001 Royal Rumble, mm -hmm. once again merging their paths. Stone Cold won the Royal Rumble and guaranteed him a shot at then WWF champion Kurt Angle. However, in February at No Way Out, The Rock defeated the mm -hmm. Olympic hero to win the belt for a record sixth time, setting up a WrestleMania rematch uh, with the Rattlesnake. So good. To add an extra dimension to the rivalry, McMahon appointed so Deborah, Austin's wife, as The Rock's manager in the lead up to the showcase of the Immortals. On the March 12th episode of Raw, Deborah entered the ring to tend to The Rock, who was trapped in Angle's ankle lock during a rematch between the two. Angle then placed her in the ankle lock, which caused Austin to storm to the ring, level <laughs> Angle, and then dish out a stunner to The Rock. The Great One retaliated the following week when Austin made his way to the ring during The Rock's match. He found himself on the yep. receiving end of a rock bottom. With the stakes more personal than ever and the WWF Championship on the line, anticipation was at a fever pitch oh God, leading up to the April 1st rematch on the grandest stage of them all. As the bell rang, Stone Cold and The Rock locked up in a classic babyface versus babyface mm -hmm. matchup, with neither man able to put the other away. The intense brawl was expertly laid out, keeping fans on the edge of their seats. However, the match took an unexpected turn yep. when Vince Green McMahon strutted to the ring and handed Austin a chair. The Rattlesnake, who had always been known to go against the grain, sold out to McMahon to beat his longtime rival and reclaim the title. It was a shocking moment that left fans stunned and divided. The Rock refused to lie down and fought back with everything he yeah. had left. But in the end, he was pinned by Austin. After the match, the rattlesnake and the chairman shook hands. The crazy thing is, people were, if you go back and watch the video, people were still, they were cheering.
They knew that some weird stuff was going on, but they still cheered because people just love Stone Cold that much. It didn't really work like they wanted it to. And shared a beer, something that fans never thought they would see. After WrestleMania 17, Austin and The Rock met again on the next night's Raw in a steel cage match, which Austin won with some help yep, of his Triple new H. heel ally, Triple H. After this match, the two rivals then went their separate ways, with The Rock taking a break from wrestling to pursue a career in Hollywood. Meanwhile, Austin went through a turbulent period that included a heel turn mm -hmm. and joining the ill-fated WCW invasion before eventually storming out of the company in 2002 after a disagreement with McMahon. However, both legends would return to the WWE mm -hmm. in February 2003. The Rock is now an entitled movie star who claimed he had only come back to beat Stone Cold at <laughs> WrestleMania. In the weeks leading up to the match, the Rock played the cowardly heel while Austin was once again the badass redneck. After collapsing at a hotel the night before WrestleMania, Steve Austin was rushed to the hospital and it became clear that this would be the Rattlesnake's last Which ever match. Crazy, until 2022, bro. of course. That's still crazy, bro. He still went out there, but he knew that was it. But it, this was still a good match. Oh my God, bro. This is how you do multiple matches at wrestlemania they all were damn near great fantastic matches bro. on mania night austin entered the ring with omr stitched onto his iconic vest to mean one more round as the two went toe to toe for the final time in seattle the match itself was a classic and classic. potentially the best wrestling match of the trilogy mm -hmm. the rock finally pinned austin after delivering three rock bottles before leaving the ring to let Austin savor the moment. Yeah. And just like that, along with the era of wrestling that it helped usher in. Ah. Uh, fantastic, bro. I'm already subscribed. Definitely giving this video a like if you haven't. Go subscribe to WWE uh, Fanatic. This was a great video. Give him some more subscriptions. He's at 922 subscribers, man. Y'all go get him to over 1,000. He deserves it. That video was great. Brought me back down memory lane, man. This was fantastic. This was fantastic. It's one of the best rivalries in WWE history. Simple as that. If honestly, it's my favorite rivalry. It is. It's literally my favorite rivalry of all time in WWE. It is. The next good rivalry for me. I love that Triple H and HBK robbery. When Triple H, uh, when HBK came back, oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> but yeah, man, this was great. Love to see videos like this. Once again, subscribe to WWE Fanatic. Let them know I sent you. Check out his other videos. I definitely will be checking out some more from him as well, man. Definitely love this. But uh, comment down below. Let me know. What's your favorite rock in stone cold match let me know doesn't matter which match they have what's your favorite one of all time from these guys from the goats from the legends but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still getting to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace